But one of the things we've been covering quite a bit, and I know a lot of us uh, you know, may have been concerned about in one way, shape, or form, has been the credit card breaches all across the country. And there's been a lot of talk about switching the kind of credit cards we use from that magnetic stripe to more of a smart card-based system. The problem is uh, the retailers and the credit card companies are fighting over who would pay it because it would be a huge cost. So there are these other um, uh, alternative forms of credit card processing like Level Up, which is right here in Boston. It's not new, but they're really getting a lot of investments. Uh, a lot of people are investing significant amounts of money in Level Up. And what it does is you link it with a credit card, but what it does is generates a unique uh, QR code on your phone. And you go to the different retailers and you scan your phone, which creates a different QR code every time you use it. One of the advantages uh, is obviously that's that's unique, but also from a business aspect, they are really significantly cutting down on the amount of fees that they're charging these credit card companies. So rather than paying a percentage of every transaction, I think they're lumping them together and taking a smaller smaller cut, a very small cut off the top. So it's uh, it's expanded. I believe that they, they, they've tried to roll out in Pittsburgh. I don't know if they have yet. But uh, they're based here in Boston, so they're, pr they're pretty widespread. They've, they've got some big retailers on board here in the Boston area. So this is actually a new, like like from the pictures, there, there is actually a new unit they, somebody would have to install as a retailer. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I think it's Honeywell that make, makes those. Okay. And, um, I, I, I believe, and I'm trying to remember, I think some of the retailers here, I believe some of the retailers here actually have it integrated into their POS system. There's actually a... Uh, there's a place called Boloco, which stands for Boston Local Company. It's a local burrito chain, and they're pretty popular. I think they have about a dozen dozen chain, a dozen dozen locations. And that was a big get for Level Up. And actually, one of the really cool things about Level Up, I think, is that what they do is, in place of Level Up taking a large cut of the sales, they go to these businesses and say, "Okay, we'll let you install our system, but you have to offer some sort of loyalty." So, you know, a lot of these retailers, a lot of these restaurants will give you two or three bucks off your first purchase. And then it has a built in loyalty system where I know uh, one of the burger places I go to for every $50 I spend using Level Up, I'll get $5 back. So it's kind of a, it, it, it kind of kills two birds with one stone. I think it's pretty interesting. I think that it's something you can catch on. Uh, it doesn't use uh, um, uh NFC technology, it just uses that QR code. Although I think when you think about it, the NFC uh, technology, the near field communication, isn't a bad, a bad option down the road either. But you got to get Apple on board with it. it. It really seems, yeah, and it really, yeah, and so it's universal right off the bat. It really feels like uh, kind of an advanced Square in the yeah. long run. Like, like, because I know Square, I, I think they were starting to get the loyalties program into it again. I haven't used it. I, I use it for just, you know, DVD table stuff. Not We don't have, the, you know, cafe anymore. I was starting to look into the deals and that mm -hmm. high level stuff. But yeah, it looks like we can throw in like the, what we would do with Foursquare, but they're if they're using this, it's more integrative. If it's more of a forward thinking area, like, you know, like this burrito place you were talking about, yeah. um, that, that, you know, people will be trying this new technology. Um, I, I really like how it, it, it does it does integrate like that yeah it's 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 a pretty i think it's i think it's great i mean i, I and and i think that uh you know i know that if i have level up in my pocket and I'm, I'm near a place that i've visited a couple of times i'll say hey i'll go because i'm, I'm close to getting that 50 dollar point you know the 50 dollar price point so um i think it's a matter of just convincing people to use it but one thing i like that it does as opposed to square i know starbucks have been trying to move to that model where they're trying to roll out Square and more of their, more of their uh, locations. Is Level Up actually has a? Um, I'm, I'm grabbing my phone to uh, just kind of show it if I can. But they actually have a gratuity function built right in. So when I go to a, when I use it in the restaurants, I can also choose as, as I hold this up here. Um, this, this is it, it's it, there's my unique code, and on the bottom I can choose different gratuities, and it will change that QR code. Okay. Now, if you're in a rest, like a, a restaurant, and someone comes out, like the person comes over to give you your bill, normally you would give them your credit card, and then they walk away with it, they swipe it, mm -hmm. and they bring it back. Do you give them your phone, or do they bring something over to the table, or? Actually, I have not used it in a sit-down environment yet. Okay. Everybody, I've, everywhere I've used it has been, you know, going up to the counter and using it. Um, I, I, to, to be honest with you. I don't know if there are sit-down restaurants. I know there are actually clothing stores as well that have been using it as well, uh, using it too. So I mean, it's it's got it's gotten out of just the 
just the restaurant mode. But when I say restaurant, I guess I'm using that term pretty loosely. And, and I think there, there there were several options. It looks like uh, trying to find the page that I was at before because it, it showed like the POSs, and then it showed like integrated you know phone versions of it. So I, I think this is something that if there's a restaurant that does have this integrated, they would have maybe iPod touches or something they would bring to the table. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. And, and it reminds me actually, I think it, it, it was only a couple of years ago, but I was with our buddy Norm um, at uh, at a restaurant called Storms in downtown Pittsburgh, and I was so amazed that it and i want to say this was maybe 2009 2010 that we were paying with our credit cards and it came over and they swiped the table side and we entered our, our tip right on the credit card reader i'm thinking oh my gosh the technology where is it going and and now uh you know there's so many different applications out there you know like uh, uh you know chris dilla out of Bocktown uses um uh the one app where you can view your phone tab dot view your yeah. view your tab right on your phone so uh, it's really changing the way that we pay, we pay for, for what we do when we eat and we go out. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love these these forward thinking ideas to, to switch that up. Especially, it makes sense in something like 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 you know a bar or something or you know restaurant mm-hmm. bar like like Bocktown because I know like the worst thing is oh, getting somebody so I can get my check. It's like I can just right. sign it off and walk out. You know, and yeah. that's it. You know, um, I think that's that that's tremendous. Awesome.